put on guys black scout survival late night live and so we are deploying troops to israel um this morning was announced that they're going to roughly send 2000 uh troops from across various armed forces and they're going to be prepared for deployment to israel and they would serve in support in medical roles this this would not include from what they said earlier today any infantry or combat elements but just a few hours ago breaking news that they're going to send my old unit the my alma mater the 26 marine expeditionary units known as the gangsters of the marine corps they will be going there <laughs> i see my mom got me this back in the, this thing's 21 years old they made a gi joe figure after my unit how cool is that 21 years old this thing is my mom got that back when i was with that unit <clears throat> anyway they're now making their way to go join the other two carrier strike groups off the coast of israel so um again the 26 marine expeditionary unit is a four, four deployed unit uh they're basically designed as expeditionary force so they go into places they can self-sustain themselves and usually they are around 2000 to 2200 marines uh, for various different uh you know different mili military occupational specialties they train in a, a, a variety of situations and missions they're known as a special operations capable unit meaning that essentially the unit can handle various special operations tasks. Now, not every Marine in there is a special operations like, you know, like JSOC or something like that, but they can handle many roles in the special operations realm. Um, and they historically are known for embassy evacuations. So, but uh, yeah, I was, I was actually with the 26 Mu when we went in 2000 to Israel. Uh, for uh, P, P, try to resolve the conflict between Palestine and Israel back then. So this has been going on forever, obviously, like we know. Um, so let's talk about Mo Money. Mo Money, yeah, top U.S. official, says that Biden will push for a new security package uh, for Israel, Ukraine this week, and he will include Taiwan in U.S. border funding in the estimation of uh, about $2 billion. So watch your money loses value that's in the bank. But if you notice, they're now concerned about the border. Joe Biden has not been concerned. They've been about open borders, but now all of a sudden they're concerned about the borders. And you may ask yourself why that is. Well, it's because there's been an overwhelming amount of operatives coming in from China, coming in from uh, Gaza, coming Middle East, that have been allowed to come here in, in the name of uh, social justice. Um, and so a bunch of military age males are coming in with hair, you know, uh, buzz cuts or military camouflage and they're just i don't know if that's true i'm just joking they did have the chinese guys did have military hair haircuts to be fair um but and and we were busting them in by the way your tax dollars were paying to bust them in so when they strike our country it, it's it's going to be you know there's only be one person or group to blame and that is going to be uh joe biden uh and the democrats because they allowed them to come in through the southern border so and they know that that would demolish their votes in the future. Um, hence why you saw in last night's video that, that I spoke about them trying to do, disprove that whole theory. Hence why they're now trying to fix the problem that they created. But also, this is why you did not hear about the strikes that happened on the Day of Rage didn't hear about anything even i said it I, I falsely said nothing happened here in the u.s because they're not reporting it they're keeping it a secret or they're using misleading headlines like this one man booked for murder after apparent intentional crash on long beach now what they they failed to tell you about this is that it was a muslim terrorist who intentionally carried out an Islamic terrorist attack via, uh, via vehicular jihad in Long Beach, California. His name is Khalid Yagobi. And on his Facebook page, other Islamists were praising him and thanking him for his act of uh, service for Day of Jihad. Literally, this is in California and no media coverage. So not only that, when the FBI came to the scene, the FBI showed up at the scene here, which is obviously very telling. <clears throat> the FBI 
gave a gag order to the journalist and said that they could not report that this was a Muslim terrorist and ordered police to not speak to the media at all. So the media was only referring it to as a man book for murder. And so this was a man that carried out a jihad attack and, and, and one woman actually died from it. So again, this is, this is why you and I both thought nothing happened. So how many more cases of that, there was just some kind of uh, whitewash across the country, probably a lot. And we just didn't hear about it. So there's probably much more, but they don't want to tell you that because they don't want to say that, Oh yeah, we opened up the border and we allowed a half a million uh, operatives through and they carried out missions. So they obviously don't want to say that. <clears throat> now this is kind of like going along with what you don't hear is usually the, you know, means there's something more to the story. North Korea. I think there's not telling us something. Because like the first time in history, they're sending the B-52-8 strategic bomber capable of nuclear weapons to South Korea this week as a quote-unquote show of force against the rising nuclear threats, threats of North Korea. So these flyovers and air demonstrations and static displays, including the landing of the B-52 on the peninsula, is part of a continued pledge to promote peace, stability, and prosperity on the Korean peninsula. Uh, well, that was a statement from uh, the, a major from the 7th Air Force Air Force Base, uh, South Korea. So they didn't name the specific location, obviously. But if you remember four days ago, the USS Ronald Reagan arrived in South Korea. So there's something going on there that they're not telling us 100%, just like most, most we're going to see. Let's see what else we got going on. Iran. Iran is getting very serious. Okay, so Iran actually warned that they will open the gates of hell, quote-unquote, against Israel if they invade Gaza, which they are going to do. Um, and they said a preemptive action could be expected in the coming hours. So we may see a, a strike from Iran within the next few hours, maybe while we're asleep tonight. Iran said that Israel will not be allowed to take any action in Gaza Strip without consequences. So... The Israeli prime minister snapped back, Net Netanyahu snapped back and said, I tell Iran and Hezbollah not to test Israel or else they'll pay a huge price. So I think, uh, I think we're going to maybe see something in the next few hours. But <clears throat> one thing I did find very funny today was that uh, old Vladimir, he actually requested to visit Israel and was denied, denied by the government of Israel. They said that uh, he wanted to go with Blinken, another crook, but uh, he, he's, he wanted to go to assure that Tel Aviv that D.C. support and current Israel Hamas war. Nobody wants your, your, your freaking acknowledgement or support, Zelensky. You're a freaking puppet. Anyway, the, the reasoning for not allowing Zelensky is to visit was according to Israel sources that the time is just not right. I love it. I love it. And, and you know why that is. It's, all, it's obvious. You know, everybody knows that is a crook. Why would you want him to come see your country? So there's a lot of people across the nation taking sides, whether for or against. Well, Colombia is one of those people. They're like, they're going to side with Hamas. They're saying Colombia has expelled the Israeli ambassador and told the ambassador to apologize and leave the country. If we have to spend, suspend foreign relations with Israel, we will suspend them. We do not support genocides. The president of Colombia will not be insulted. So, I think we got, you know, obviously having troops on the ground. So we, we're going to have the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit. We're going to have 2,000 some odd support elements. We've got JSOC, Delta, as well as uh, SEAL Team 6. I've also heard there's some MARSOC there as well. We've got multiple carrier groups there. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously things things are picking up. And if Iran makes a strike, obviously that's going to thrust us because of our agreement into this. Uh, automatically i do think that they know something about north korea that they think something's going to happen hence why they have the nuclear bomber there they're trying to basically put every all the all the puzzle pieces in place for things to pop off do we want it to pop off absolutely not <laughs> 
Well, not me at least. Uh, maybe you do. Maybe you you remember uh, months ago I told you them guys were getting mags. Like I don't want to go to work tomorrow. No they want nu nuclear war to break out, so I don't have to go to work tomorrow. No Dude, change your job. <laughs> change your job if you hate that bad. But uh, but obviously that like I said, having the having the uh, carrier groups there, having the carrier groups in North Korea, we're we're putting multiple assets. I mean, this is this is billions of dollars with equipment we're putting over there, and obviously they wouldn't be putting them over there just for just for uh giggles i mean there's there's a reason and probably a good reason that they're not telling us um you know they don't tell you half the story and when they do you know but but the other thing is is like when you look at the media <clears throat> over the past few days i told you there's been a, a a lot less israel coverage and more palestine coverage and they're trying to suppress all social media influencers whether instagram uh youtube it doesn't matter they're hitting every one of our videos about it and that just no means that they're trying to cultivate the story. They don't want you telling the truth. They don't want the truth getting out there because this is the same thing that happened in 2020 about numerous topics that, you know, obviously you, you can't talk about, <clears throat> but they all turn out to be true. Every single one of them, right? Hunter Biden laptop, for example, all oh, this is a uh, Russia hoax. Uh, it turned out to be true. Every one of them turned out to be true. If it's a, if it, they call it a conspiracy theory, guys, it is a true, it's true. So if you are one of these folks that go against it, just know you're, you're, you're following along as a sheep and uh, the truth will come out and you probably won't admit it when it comes out. You'll probably act like you, you were uh, playing along with it the whole time, but uh, we won't forget. We won't forget. We'll hold you accountable. Anyhow, um, before I, I sign off, I, I do got a buddy of mine. He does a lot of great things. He's a, a, a Christian and a former Marine. He's a Marine veteran, and he serves in Israel and the Middle East. He's got an organization that he provides aid for because um, they got obvious uh, supply chain issues right now. Um, he also uses these opportunities to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, and so and they need it there, you know. But uh, if you want to help to support the cause, I'm going to put a link below and you can, you know, uh, donate. I'll put in the pinned comment. It looks like a generic site, but don't worry, it's legit. Um, but it, it's, it's great, a great site because they also match contributions. Um, you know, but again, let's help, uh, help spread the, the gospel, help a former Marine uh, veteran and, uh, you know, obviously people in need. So <clears throat> Mark Fallows, thank you, sir. Hello, peeps. Keep your moral comps. That's right, buddy. Pay attention and get your info. Get info here. Get ready. Thanks, brother. All right, guys. Thanks so much. I'll put the link in the pinned comment. Um, someone just asked a question. Yeah, man, we got tons of aircraft carriers. Tons. Yeah. But the, these are some of our largest ones. This is, is what, what the big deal about it is. They're some of our largest. We got various different types of carriers, not just, you know, <clears throat> smaller carriers. Uh, but usually they're paired up for, for different things. Uh, and they travel all the world and usually they're situated, um, pre-planned across the globe. Um, so they have some, you know, in, in, even in South America and stuff like that. I'll go ahead and put this pin comment here. And, uh, if I can right here too, as well, here you go. I'll put in the live chat. Yeah. So. Yeah, but they, they had these carrier groups and the, these different ARGs, amphibious radar groups deployed usually around the clock, around the globe. They'll have them in the Asia. They'll have them in the uh, um, Mediterranean. They'll have them in South America. And they're just basically, just in case anything pops off anywhere, they have s some kind of assets there. But to pre-position uh, pre some of these, especially the two uh, at, off the coast of Israel, because they're actually sent the other one early. Uh, the Henry four, they sent it early, um, pre prior to, and I'm sure those, those guys are probably pissed on that, uh, on that, that float, because, uh, you know, you usually plan things out with your family before you go. Now they're leaving, having to leave early. Um, so, <clears throat> so can an aircraft carrier sink? Someone asked, yeah, uh, you can think about anything, but the, the Navy techs on ships and the, you, you Navy guys can obviously answer this better than I can. But I do know that when I was on a sh uh, ship, I deployed with on a ship. And, uh, these guys train, like they're very serious about this type of training. They can lock pretty much lock down, uh, when a ship explodes, I was actually deployed during the time that the U S I was with the amphibious rudder group, the USS Cole, and we actually split ARG, meaning <clears throat> the amphibious rudder group split. 
the following day, uh, the USS Cole got hit. Luckily, I wasn't on that ship, but uh, they, they got hit. They were able to close off the areas around and it was hit by al-qaeda if you don't if you don't know that some younger guys may not heard of this but uh it got hit by al-qaeda um previous to 9-11 and basically they were able to shut off all the doors to stop uh the flooding of the ship and they trained for this like when when i was on ship they would train for this junk like they'd have drills like just out of nowhere like kind of like a fire drill and they'll start like battening the hatches i guess and so that's that's just something they do and they train for so it's very difficult Obviously, depending on the type of weaponry, maybe where to hit it at, uh, you know, that's well out of my scope of uh, expertise. So, but uh, those guys are very trained, uh, very well trained. They also have uh, extreme, um, you know, firefighting capabilities and, and uh, like hazmat guys on ships <clears throat> as well. The Navy does very well at that. I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> they're the premier Navy in the world. So, um, and, and you Navy guys obviously know better than I, I do. So you can explain <clears throat> So as far as what the Marines are doing, someone's asking, I, I don't necessarily know what the Marines did. What I know what I did when I, I was there, we basically just marched around the streets and rode Humvees down the streets with machine guns and uh, just kind of deterred uh, everyone. They were, you know, it was pretty hot before we, we got there. Um, and w- when we got there, everybody was pretty much scared of us once we got there. So it was pretty much a sh- show of force and we uh, <laughs> enacted peace pretty quickly. I don't think a lot of people... You know, there's a lot of people around the globe that heard stories about Marines, you know, from even back in the day. And a lot of these stories probably aren't even, they're not even true. They're just fairy tales. But uh, it strikes fear in a lot of people when they hear Marines are on on the ground. And and a lot of you uh, old Marines probably can uh, also comment to that as well. <clears throat> and if you deployed around the world, a lot of people are scared of you. I, I remember when I went and trained with uh, the Croatian Special Forces. I was over there in their commando, what are they called commandos? <clears throat> I was with their commando force for a month and they were, they were, they were scared of us when we got there. You know, they said that, that we were, uh, they thought we were very mean and that we'd be yelling all the time, but we were just like regular guys. So, um, but they, the, everyone always has a, uh, misconception about how people are. But, uh, anyway, guys, I do appreciate you hanging out with me. And if you're a tribe member, go hang out in the live chat, go have, let's go have a, um, after party chat. And if you haven't joined the tribe, please join the tribe, get to know people like-minded people uh, because you never know when the worst thing is possible. Obviously, I've also got links below in the description for Gas Mask. I highly recommend that at this stage of the game. You don't know what it is. Like I said last night, and I'm very serious about this, and I, and I told my tribe this uh, two days ago, is that I'm getting very serious about my preparations like right now because things are heating up. And you never know when you can't, might not be able to order something off the internet. <clears throat> you know, may, may not be able to buy or fight another firearm. May not be able to buy another stick of ammo. So I would definitely make moves on these things. Gas masks is something very serious, very critical. Antibiotics is something very serious as well. Um, supply chain is ran by China and India. And at any moment, they could cut it off. Um, Jace Medical, matter of fact, they cut their price by 60%. The link is in the description. But they also have a whole list of medications now. So if you have any kind of medications you need, you can go get it there and get it like a stockpile. And they've got a lot of other medications there. I actually ordered a bunch of different things that they have. They have EpiPens even. Uh, so you can go grab all that stuff there and use the link below in the description there. And uh, I'll put my friend's uh, link below, his uh, charity. Uh, again, Christian Marine veteran trying to help uh, over there in Israel with the supply chain issue. So anyhow, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And remember to stay frosty, stay strapped, and always stay dangerous. Take care. <clears throat>